if you want me to continue this series, let's get the video to 5,000 likes for a part two. I don't think I've set a goal before, but let's try this out and hope it doesn't flop. Well, I think it's safe to say that you guys want to know more about the origins of cursed images. So, I found some more to talk about. If y'all want a part 3, let's get to 15,000 freaking likes on this video. If you haven't seen the first one, go watch that and enjoy. If you were to look up cursed images on Google, the first result, for me at least, is this picture. Now, if you were to watch my last video, this may remind you of those stretched out Furbies that I managed to come across. But instead of elongated Furbies, we now have elongated babies. A simple reverse Google search will take you to the I Felt Kish website, where you can find a defunct product page to actually buy one of these needle felted paint cloud babies. I don't know what's more terrifying, the fact that this exists, or the fact that these were once $570 in US money. While we found the origin of where these little worm babies came from, who was behind this operation? By looking up I Felt Kish on Instagram, it took me to Amy Coleslaw's page, where her bio says, Needle felted creatures from your cutest nightmares. A lot of this stuff is pretty cool even if it costs over a thousand dollars. Here we have a live action Shrek and Princess Fiona. But why? The answer is actually more wholesome than you could ever imagine. Nathan Gibbs and his wife Amanda had an ongoing inside joke that they'd have a Shrek themed wedding. Whenever it came time to hold the wedding ceremony, the couple would instead ask for money instead of your ordinary wedding gifts. The money that they requested was going to go to cancer research, because Nathan had not only lost many people to cancer throughout his life, but his sister would also be diagnosed with breast cancer the same year of the wedding. Nathan would also say this. We wanted to do something to raise awareness of cancer and to encourage more people to go and get checked out. Nathan and Amanda would let everybody dress up as different characters during the wedding, and I'd imagine that they're living happily ever after. And it's also worth mentioning that Nathan's sister beat breast cancer, so that's freaking awesome. W's in the chat. Why is this man in a cemetery at nighttime? And why is there a big ass moth next to him? Well, if you don't already know who this living legend is, it's MC Ride from the experimental hip hop group Death Grips. This picture of MC Ride was taken from their music video, I've seen footage. Throughout the video, there's literally hundreds of different images that flicker by every second. Around the one minute mark, that's when you can spot MC Ride in the cemetery. But we run into a dilemma. I'm in the studio with Death Grips. They're working on their new album at Sunset Sound Studios. They have a dilemma. The humongous moth from the cursed image isn't actually in the original photo. For some context about the moth, I believe there was some sort of meme back in the mid to late 2010s where people were posting different meme formats with moths, and somebody eventually just slapped it onto this picture of MC Ride for whatever reason. Because it's funny. Before I move on to the next entry, I'd just like to flex on everybody because I actually got to see Death Grips live. <laughs> This entry in particular is really funny to me for some reason. Just seeing the infamous Saddam Hussein on a cow-shaped TV is just some real random stuff. Yeah, this. This is random stuff. Anyway, if you wanted to watch some television in this exact spot, you can make your way to Young's Jersey Dairy in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Young's Jersey Dairy is actually a restaurant of sorts, where you can get waffle sandwiches, and most importantly, you can get some nice cold ice cream. I should also add that every picture I found of this cow TV, it always has some sort of Middle Eastern conflict going on. Like this one says something about a new Osama bin Laden tape, there's the Saddam Hussein one, and then there's this one talking about some sort of revolution happening in Egypt. Alright, before I get to this next cursed image, I will advise that the image is just a little scary at first, so if you have some sort of anxiety or whatever, don't get jump scared, it's not that creepy, it's actually pretty stupid, and it'll be okay.
To cut to the chase on this one, an old school prank channel on YouTube, fittingly called Pranks Tube, had made a video titled Chester the Mannequin Peeking into Bathroom Stall's Prank. Gun pull, gun rock! <laughs> Basically what they do is get this pretty unsettling mannequin head with hair and just use it to mess with people that were dropping chunks in the bathroom stalls. What you're looking at is the blurred version of the image that I'll be talking about, because I'm just trying to play it safe, that way YouTube doesn't demonetize my video. If you want to see the original picture, just look up young boy standing in front of the Twin Towers. With that being said, this picture carries some pretty chaotic energy. Not only is the biggest American tragedy happening in the background of this photo, but this little boy is just kind of chilling with his binoculars. This picture first gained traction on a reddit post, where people would speculate if the image was a hoax or not, until the boy in the photo would come forward. My name is Austin Sansone, and I live in Tribeca, which is in the lower west side of Manhattan, and this is a picture of me on 9-11. I was 4 years old, and the picture was taken along the west side highway that morning. I have the actual photo, which I will post a picture of when I get home. For all of you doubting whether this is real or photoshopped, I promise you that it is sadly very real. Along with this message, he'd also accompany it with this picture to verify. I'm not even sure if this can be considered a cursed image, but I've always wanted to know the origins of this classic bread-faced meme. You freaking bricks! What will you learn? What will you learn? It turns out, the simple answer is that this little lovable face is from a Christian kids show called the Donut Repair Club. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 I must say it's a lot cooler out here than it was in there. That's really all the information you need to know, but while watching some Donut Repair Club on YouTube, I saw this video pop up in my feed. Over the years, one of our characters, it's been uh, a very unusual character that took off, and it was a character that we had in the Donut Man videos. People have tried to find out where Loafer is. Well, I've had him, and I've got him. And we are going to open Loafer for like the first time in 20 years. This is Loafer. This surreal depiction of Spongebob and Patrick is pretty goofy to look at, but it raises the question, is this from one of those old YouTube videos where it's like Minecraft mobs in real life? The answer to this question is, these are real physical beings, I mean, action figures. The company VTSS would collaborate with an artist called Miguel Vasquez to create the humanoid Sea Friends figurine collection. Unfortunately, if you were looking to buy one of these silly humanoid Sea Friends, then you're probably out of luck as they were released back in 2018 and there was a limited copy of 300 figures. Interestingly enough, a user on Discord would reach out to me and actually show off his signed Spongebob figurine, so that's pretty cool. If you are a fan of cursed images, then you've probably seen this infamous picture of four Teletubbies surrounding a kid. The earliest place I could find this picture being posted was on a nearly 10 year old reddit post. The person who uploaded this to r slash creepy went to say this. I noticed this on the wall in the children's ward of an English hospital under the heading celebrities who visited us. I found it both hilarious and horrifying. Another person will leave a comment and ask, why was the room in this photo so dark and ominous? To which the OP replied saying, it's a British hospital. Not much else is known about this image, like who the kid is or who's in the Teletubby suits. One of the most viewed and iconic cursed images is this one right here. It's a picture of a showbiz animatronic character called Billy Bob from the rocket fire explosion, who is standing next to a young kid. The lighting in this picture makes it pretty creepy along with a dead stare in Billy Bob's eyes. But I have identified the kid in this picture and his name is Rich Evans. Rich Evans is actually pretty popular and he is a member of the Red Letter Media Group. Photo. I just want to point that out that this photo might be cursed. 
I, I well. I mean, look at me. It is, <laughs> it is on the Cursed Images website. What's the story behind the photo, Rich? Why don't you start? I, I mean, the story is I was a small child, and I was given that shirt to wear on my birthday. <laughs> That's the story. I I was actually curious about this. So I I went to visit my uncle. Uh, somewhat recently, a little while ago now, but I asked him, like, what, what's the deal with that damn shirt? Who's, whose idea was, was the shirt? He didn't remember. No, but he actually, he, he thinks he does. Uh, he, he, it was just my grandmother's idea to get a shirt that says Dick the Birthday Boy, and she was completely oblivious to any alternate meaning that <laughs> might have. To punctuation? <laughs> the punctuation Commons? was, was not a comments. factor. She just wanted to have a okay. Dick the Birthday Boy <laughs> shirt for her beloved grandson. For the last entry of the video, its origins were actually given to me by the creator of this cursed image. They messaged me saying, Hello, I saw the cursed images video and will say I'm the creator of these ones. I've made these specifically for the purpose of being cursed images, which I posted to the cursed images subreddit in 2018. Now, personally, I don't know if this was the exact picture in particular, but I have seen photos of people eating the silica gel packets, and they tend to be pretty cursed. The point of me adding this part into the video is so that we realize the origins of most cursed images. The person that sent me this collection of homemade cursed images simply said that they did it to send it into the cursed images subreddit. So that leads me to believe that a vast majority of other cursed images were made with the same goal. Take a picture of something silly or weird and send it into the cursed images subreddit in hopes that it goes viral or just out of creative boredness. I'm mentioning all of this because I tried searching so many other pictures for this video but was only met with dead ends on 90% of them. Because of this, if you see a cursed image and truly want to know where it's from but you can't find it, it's probably not that sinister or mysterious. But don't let that take the enjoyment and cursedness away. I don't really have anything else to add, but I just want to thank everybody for watching this. The first video completely blew up. I honestly didn't expect that, but thanks a ton. Along with that, look at this amazing fan art. Like, my little community is so freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much. It's super cool just to see my little dude being drawn in so many different ways. But yeah, I have huge plans coming soon for the channel, so stay tuned, and I'll see you next week. But first, here's a shout out to the members on my Patreon. Bella M, Damn Sandy, 3L MMO, Jera, Sinful, Josh S, Josh Wynn, Landon Rodriguez, Leon S, Lexi Bunny, Master Shake, Miko, Cher, The Good Bunch, and Z Salt. I go to sleep at 9 o'clock, this bitch stays up all night, but... I took a nap right on my glass